Comedies. Happy Monday. I hope you all had a fabulous weekend. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Emma and I'm so happy you clicked on my what's for dinner video. I hope you like it. We'll give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Let's jump right on in to this week's what's for dinner video. For our pizzas, this is everything you're going to need. I'm going to start by preheating my oven to 425 degrees and I'm going to put my pizza stone in the oven to warm up with my oven. While my oven comes to temperature, I just put my pizza crust on a cutting board and I'm going to lay some pesto on the pizza crust. And while I was doing the layer of pesto, I had my husband wash and cut up my tomato and cut up my mozzarella cheese. My husband was complaining that the pizza wasn't going to have any meat on it. So I pulled out some of this salami and we're going to put some of that on our pizza as well. And I just layered my pizza with the tomato and mozzarella as pretty as possible. And then I laid some of that salami on the mozzarella cheese. And another last minute idea. I just poured a little bit of olive oil into a little ramekin and added some Italian seasoning. And I'm just going to brush this around the crust of the pizza just to give it a little extra flavor. And then lastly, for a little spice, I poured some crushed red pepper flakes over the top of our pizza. Then I got my pizza stone out of the oven when my oven had come to temperature, put the pizza on it, and I'm going to cook the pizza at 425 for 35 minutes. Here it is out of the oven. And again, I decided to do something a little extra and I just did a drizzle of balsamic glaze over the top of the pizza. And then for our toppings and dipping, we have some Parmesan cheese on top of the pizza, some ranch, and then on my plate, I have a little extra um, balsamic glaze to dip my pizza in. Delicious. And for this Taco Tuesday, we ended up just going out to eat. I got a carne asada burrito with carne asada, pico, sour cream, and cheese. And then my husband got carne asada fries. And that was it. Delicious. For tonight's dinner, I put a quarter cup of beef broth into my slow cooker base and we're going to slow cook this lamb shoulder chop. So I put the lamb into my slow cooker. I added um, some garlic herb butter, just a half a stick, and some rosemary and thyme. And then I popped the lid on and we're going to slow cook this on low for six hours. And for our sides, I'm going to make up some instant sour cream and chive mashed potato, some sweet peas, and some Yorkshire puddings that I just have in my freezer. All you do is put them in the oven and warm them through for 15 minutes. While everything was just finishing cooking up, I'm just going to get my gravy granules ready because once the lamb is done, I'm going to take out the lamb and I'm going to use that delicious beef broth lamb juice that's in the slow cooker and make the gravy out of it. Then when the lamb was done, I let it rest for about 10 minutes. Then I had my husband um, try and cut it up for me. It was super tender, so he was having a hard time. Anyway, I just put my gravy granules in the juice. Like I said, I was going to gave it a good old whisk, whisk, whisk. And that's our gravy all done. And of course, we're going to have some mint jelly with our lamb. And then here it is, all served up. The lamb with the mint jelly, 
the mashed potatoes, the peas, the Yorkshire puddings, and our delicious gravy. Delicious. tonight's dinner I forgot to take out bacon I was gonna make carbonara but as I said I forgot to take out the bacon so I'm improvising I have this mandarin orange chicken in my freezer some mac and cheese I'm just gonna throw together easy so I preheated my oven to 400 degrees laid out the chicken I'm gonna throw it in the oven and cook it for 20 minutes and for the mac and cheese, I'm just bringing a pot of water to a boil. I'm just going to add some salt. And let that boil up. Super simple. Once the macaroni noodles had boiled up and cooked, I drained them and returned them back to the pot. Added a little butter and the little Velveeta pack that comes with the mac and cheese. Gave that a good old stir, stir, stir. And then I decided to use a Kraft American cheese to make it a little more cheesier. And I just stirred that in until it melted. Beans sound delicious for my little hodgepodge dinner I'm making. So I'm going to cook up some baked beans too. Okay, the chicken is done, and it comes with two of these little mandarin orange sauce packets. So I put one package in the bowl, in a bowl, and then I put the chicken on top, and then I just stirred it up a little bit, and then I added the other package of sauce mixture and poured that on top and then stirred it up. I feel like the chicken gets better coated in the sauce if I do one at the bottom and then one on top if that makes sense anyway here it is all served up the chicken the mac and cheese and the beans and that's it delicious and that concludes this week's what's for dinner video i hope you guys liked it we'll give it a thumbs up subscribe come back on friday for my soup of the week video and i will see you then have a fabulous week bye